match to show how to do a little bit of animation. Uh, we're going to do a very simple cartoon uh, using the characters here. We have a girl who's running and a dragon. The dragon's basically going to pick up the girl and fly off with her. So uh, we're going to first of all do a nice background uh, to, to help us with that story and then we'll actually look at uh, some of the actions that we need to do that. Scratch itself comes with a, with a lot of different backgrounds um, and we're going to make uh, go to the stage here which is the background and we're going to um, get a, um, a background by clicking on import. Now she's running outdoors so we'll have a look at what we have here and we'll see a few little things here. Um, I'm not quite sure if I like any of those. Um, we'll have a look at nature. So we may as well do the desert, I think. So by double clicking it, we have our desert scene. Um, so we're gonna have a, a dragon in the desert picking up this girl. So the first thing we need to do is we need to start moving the girl. So we double click on the girl here and go to the scripts. Um, we're going to get her to move um, across the screen. And as usual, when our green flag is clicked, um, we are going to get the girl to move so um, we'll do that we want to get the dragon now to capture the girl around here so if the girl is around here I suppose we'll try and uh, I'll just try and move her to the position that we want her to be she's gonna be around here we want the dragon to be about there to grab onto her shoulders and if we look just there below on the right you'll see the X and Y axis minus 25 minus 86 minus 25 minus 86 so we'll need to remember that so we'll double click on the dragon and we're going to get him to move over to that space so minus 25 minus 86 roughly okay so let's give that a try we'll click the green flag and he is just a little bit too much too uh too far too on so we'll have to We'll just have to move them slightly to the left, maybe a few more points. We'll bring them back to where they were. And it's a matter of just experimenting with uh, with things. So again, we'll move them further back, maybe another 10 pixels and see what happens. So again, it's just trial and error a lot of the time. I'm kind of happy enough with that. Okay, once we've got them picked up, we're going to have to glide them off again. So that's what we'll do next. At this point, we might want a bit of a struggle. So we might get the girl to do a bit of uh, shivering or struggling uh, so we'll, we'll, to do that um, as soon as she's glided we're going to we're going to have a little bit of a pause so she realizes what's happened so we'll wait about half a second and then we're going to have some sort of violent motion that she's going to do she may um, we're going to get her to turn 15 degrees and then we're going to wait another little bit very little And then we're going to make her turn again anti-clockwise by 15 degrees back to where she was. Now I am going to repeat that a few times. We might get to repeat that five times. So that is going to take one second altogether. So let's see how this all works out. If we bring everyone back to where they were. And we'll click the screen and we have a bit of a struggle there, so um, we might, uh, that's our little struggle. Once that's done, we're going to wait another half a second, and we're going to get her to um, move up around here, so to about 200, and 200 to 115 roughly, so we're going to get her to glide up there. So we're going to get her to glide. 200 to 115. So let's see how this works. Now the dragon won't follow, but we'll check it out. The struggle, and up she goes. Perfect. And we're going to have to get the dragon to be further up there. Now with all that happening, uh, we need to make sure that the dragon is in the right place. Um, so we'll go back to the dragon, and he's going to be... Um, he's just glided. Now as you can see the girl here at this point here had waited half a second, 
twice, that's one second, and the other action took another second, that's two seconds. So the dragon actually can't do anything for two seconds. So what we're going to do while the, while the girl is struggling is we're going to have to get the dragon to wait for two seconds. And once he's done that, then he can start gliding as well with the girl. And I'm now, if we remember the last time, the girl has moved to 200 to 115. So we need him to go in around the same area. So we'll find out. We'll, again, this will be a lot of trial and error. Um, for mathematically minded people, there's probably going to be some addition and subtraction going on here. But what we'll do is we'll glide him up to around the same, maybe just a little bit behind that. So about 185. And we said the y-axis was 115. So we'll maybe make that a little bit above that. So maybe about 105 we'll try just to see what it looks like. Okay, so we will click on our flag, got them grabbed, struggle, moving up. Now it's a matter of trial and error where we go with, but it's a matter of just testing these things out. Uh, I, I, I was uh, messing around with the numbers here and basically what we want to do is we want the girl uh, to be picked up and driven away and we've been messing around with numbers and playing around and I, I went around and I looked at it, we tried 140 there and 105 for the dragon. So we're just looking at his actions here. So this is where he's going to go. I'll just leave him back to where he was. And then for the girl, we have exactly the same kind of thing going on here. We just let her run, gets picked up, struggles, and gets taken off. So we'll just see how that works all together. Click on the flag, she gets picked up, struggles, and is brought away. Now, it looks like the dragon started a little bit um, before, so maybe there might be a bit of a chance to wait a little bit. I may have uh, done my maths a little bit wrong there, or maybe the turn takes a little bit of extra time. So what we'll do is on the dragon, we'll change the time just slightly. It says to wait two seconds, but I'll give it 2.5 seconds to see what happens, and we'll see what happens. So as I'm saying, I'm messing around with, um, with numbers, um, and all this is very good for and um, the, the maths end of things, the struggle now, and well, she's moved up first, so we have to try and change that again, maybe 2.1 and see what happens. So it's constantly tinkering around with the numbers and seeing what happens. Struggle, and that will be close enough, I would say. So that's uh, pretty much anim a, a, a small bit of animation, a lot of tinkering around with numbers, um, a bit of maths involved there, so a uh, very simple exercise to do with a group of children. Mm -hmm.